Previously on Magnum Opus. Now we really are getting somewhere. I feel like we're getting very close to the bastard. Don't worry, Maddie. You will be avenged soon. So the guy doing the bear impression is none other than Sean McDerry, a.k.a. Grizzly. The exciting news is that Grizzly is Bombface's red right-hand man. You will most likely have to interrogate him to extract anything useful. What are you doing here? The Brotherhood needs your help to protect the Commonwealth. Donate a portion of your crops to the Brotherhood and it will not be forgotten. We don't want any trouble. You'll get your donation. All right, time out. Uh, you got me. What do you want? Who's your boss? No way, man. I can't tell you. You think you're in pain now? I can make you bleed. Make you beg me for death. There's this guy in Concord? Uh, Edmund? No. Edmund. Yeah. He knows everything. So this the sort of detail you had in mind when you signed up for the Gunners? Hauling luggage from Lynn Woods for some robot butler? Legendson. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Wellington? <laughs> Wellingham? Not now, Private. Where's Connors? He's not at his post. The lieutenant said he found some tracks. Wanted to check them out. What track? What the hell is that? Oh my... Connors! Where, where's the rest of him? Sergeant Lee, grab the case. Do not let that thing out of your sight. Everyone inside the museum, now! A nest full of death claw eggs. Smashed to bits. Except... This one. I guess we know why that... Death claw tracked us all the way from Lynn Woods now. <laughs> we stole our damn kids. Maybe if we just return the eggs. Are... are you real? Can't be, they never are. Take it easy. I'm with the Brotherhood. And maybe you can do me a favor and end my life. Look at me. I'm a freak. There's no place for my kind in our order. Knight Cassia said we had no choice but to kill ourselves. She said it was our sworn duty. But I can't stop asking myself, is it the right thing to do? Am I not still human? You look like something that was left in the fridge too long. If you're looking for Jacob, I think he's up the old church across the road. How's he doing? I don't know. He doesn't seem as chipper as he used to be. Oh, hey, dog. Is something wrong? I'm just feeling a little introspective is all. Say, you recall way back when you came to my hardware store asking what else ACMs can do? I asked you a question in return. I asked why you were doing all this. Do you remember what you told me? Help people. That's right. I didn't know if you really meant that. And honestly, I didn't care. All I saw before me was someone useful. Someone I could use. All of this, everything I've done, it's all been in the effort to bring my daughter back to me. But then, I met you. And suddenly, my actions were making a real difference in people's lives. And now, with everything that's going on, the gunner attacks, losing the comm hub, I'm not so sure anymore. This is more than I signed up for. I never expected to be taking on someone like the gunners. All right, think we got something. It's me, Aiden. I got news. Believe it or not, Algernon came through for us. We've been shadowing a squad of gunners. We think they may know where the comm hub is. Come meet us at Chestnut Hill Rock Reservoir. Maybe you should go check in with him. See what he's found. Just don't get your hopes up, all right? For all we know, his lead might be a dud. Or he's just mad. Hey guys, Lively here. Welcome back to our Magnum Opus version 7 run. It's a mod list I make that's available exclusively on Wabajack. So if you want to download, install, and play it right now, if you like what you see, feel free to give it a go. I think it's a lot of fun, even though I am obviously quite biased, but that doesn't mean I'm wrong. <laughs> so anyway, we're up here in Salem. Thought we would knock this stuff out. Can hear that uh, Barney guy yelling about Myrlurks, and he is obviously under attack. So we should probably go do something about that. Gotcha. Well, with his leg gun, he can't move, so... We can just focus on the others. Let our followers take care of that guy. Well, that's two. 
Always go for the legs when you can. Where'd number three go? Son of a nutcracker. There we go. Okay. Let's go beat Barney in his bunker, shall we? Hi, lady. Did someone drop you on your head as a baby? Or did you have to work to get this stupid? Ow! What was that? This place seemed empty. I thought everything was okay. Okay? Do you go walking into every empty town you come across assuming everything is going to be okay? It's amazing that you're not a corpse already. Luckily, I've got Reba here to help me crack those crabs wide open. Isn't that right, girl? Who's Reba? Are you talking about your gun? She's not just a gun. She's top of the line. Best gun in the Commonwealth. Made her with my own two hands. Oh, where are my manners? Introductions. Barney Rook, commander of the Salem Volunteer Militia, at your service. I'm also the quartermaster, sergeant at arms, and scribes for all official meetings. This here is Reba, but you two already met when she saved your life. Is it just the two of you? Where's everyone else? It wasn't always just two of us. Now, I'd love to sit here gabbing all day like a couple of housewives. But we've got some work to do. And by we, I most definitely mean you. Before you showed up, the Mire Lurks had been mostly quiet. And those that were a problem were quickly dispatched by my turret defense system. Since things had been quiet lately, I took the turrets offline to conserve ammunition. Obviously, they need to be reactivated. And that's your mission, soldier. I'm going to continue to hold down the home front while you go reactivate the turrets. Sounds good. Of course it sounds good. I'm a tactical genius. Smartest man in town, as a matter of fact. The turrets should be easy enough to find. They're up high in strategic locations around town. Just be careful. All your noise probably woke up more crabbies and other mire lurks. The town could be crawling with them by now. Okie dokie. And away we go. Uh, we've got to go out to get a bunch of turrets for a party. I don't think there's anything in this house, but it doesn't hurt to look around. What's my weight looking like? 220, about half full. It's not too shabby. Alright, a lot of my alerts will spawn, like that guy right there, and uh, they'll try to stop us on our way. The quantum ones can be a real hassle. Uh, I'll probably stick with this, because they are so good at wiping out these armored fellows. But we'll just uh, see how it goes. Quit dancing! Look at that, that's amazing. I don't know how well it's going to do on this guy, or plutonium guy, but we'll see. Not too bad. Wow, he messed me up. Uh, if you're unaware, my armor gives me this legendary slow time effect for, I think it's like 8 seconds. Anytime I drop below 20% health, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, I'll probably change it shortly. Because I don't... Like, it looks cool, but it's also kind of bulky and I'm kind of tired of looking at it. And I'm not, you know, going institute, so I feel like I should go get some Brotherhood stuff to put on. But uh, I haven't, I haven't gotten that far with my thought process on that, so we'll mull it over for a bit. But anyway, turret number one. And one down. Move. I can't 
can't get back here. Master. Disgusting. Okay, on the next one. Hello there. I, heard well, I was trying to take out his leg, but that works too. There's somebody inside the church. I see you. Oh, that's a person. What's a person doing here? We have to go save him, or kill him, depending. Just run. Yeah. Dude, you're in danger here. You should not be here. Well, that's a big boy. Free meat. Very quickly running out of ammo for this guy though, so hopefully I won't need it for too much longer. But turret number eh, two. Okay, three to go. Next one's up on the roof. There's also this here, I don't have a key for. I don't remember where it is. I believe it's from a mod called Inside Jobs, which just adds cool new interiors to check out and loot. Nothing story or, like, no quests or anything like that. Just uh, interesting locations to look at. More to explore. But I genuinely don't remember where the key is. So it's possible we'll never get there. I don't know. Hello, hello. Alright, uh, there's the turrets, and there's a the terminal. Not seeing any movement. Alright, the next ones are over that way. I don't think I can make this jump from the roof. Yeah, no way. That's too far. I uh, don't have a jetpack on me, so we'll have to take the long way. Well, best get started then. Uh -huh. One way to do it. Yes, it is, Heather. It's the only logical way, really. Uh, I don't know what that's from. Might be from Fourville. I know that Willis residence over there is from Fourville. Which we should probably start today, because I mentioned it at the end of the last episode, so... I don't want to be, uh... I don't want to be a tease. Did I... I don't usually come in this way, so I'm not entirely sure where I am. But I feel like I went the wrong way at some point here. Well, I'll just go the normal way, it's fine. If I can find it. Oh, it's over here. I'm an idiot. I was thinking it was that street back there, but it's this one. I'm very intelligent. You hear that? Hello. What? Get out of here. Nice. Huh. 
Okay, turret number four. And number five is at the end of the street, if memory serves. I actually don't remember. I thought it was right here. Obviously not. I could just turn the quest markers on, but I'm just going to look around for a second. See if it jogs my memory. I'm stuck on a post. Church. Some... I could have sworn it was up there. I got that one. I seriously can't fit in here? Oh, there we go. Fine. I will commit. See, it is right above me. I knew it. I was just a level down. Oh, jeez, I can't get back out. Use a door like a normal person. Seems to be a shocking lack of my alert spawns here. I feel like there's usually more. Maybe that uh, splitter gun just made quicker work of them than I'm used to. Yeah, there it is. Alright. Not entirely stupid, just a little bit. And that's number five. Oh, hey. Hey. Stop. God, you are kidding me. Oh. I see you down there. There's our turrets in action. It's fine, I have plenty of stim packs. Alright, let's go report back in to the local Salem militia. Hey, Barney. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> I could hear that sweet, sweet all the way down here. You almost caught me in Reba mid-waltz. No problem, Barney. Glad to be of service. Well, Reba and I appreciate it. We won't soon forget you. Now, about that reward. Here's a key to my workshop in the bunker. Reba, too, should be sitting on the table in there. I'd say you earned her. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe today is earmarked for some target practice. The Salem Volunteer Militia never rests. Good luck. Yay. Let's get Reba too. Nice. Oop. Does 50% more damage against my alerts and bugs. Would have been more useful about five minutes ago, but what are you going to do? Could always just kill Barney and take all this stuff if you so choose. I also try to get this quest uh, done as soon as I get anywhere near Salem, because he'll spawn from pretty far away, and this this whole fight with the Mirelurks will trigger, and he will just die, and it will render this whole quest uh, incompletable. But let's uh, let's have it over to Fourville. I don't know why I'm coming up this way just to come off the roof, but whatever. So, Fourville. Oh, right, I still have to do this. Um, I don't care about that. I'll get to that. Don't care. I'll get to that. Main quest stuff. Okay. Yeah, so let's go to Fourville and just start that. Which, yeah, okay, there it is. This is it directly. 
I immediately forgot where to directly west. Okay. So we'll go to Fourville and kick that off, and then we'll go do some some settlement stuff maybe, and then report in with the Brotherhood. Perhaps not in that order, but that's that's what's on our docket for today. Fourville, Brotherhood, some settlements. But uh, I did not have a chance to do Fourville in my last Let's Play series of this list, even though it was here the whole time. I just never got around to it along with quite a few other things, so I'm excited to get into this. Fair warning, I have, uh, I've only played through Fourville once, so I don't know it like the back of my hand like I do the rest of this game, so we'll be playing it kind of by ear as we go, and if I encounter any bugs, then I guess you'll just have to experience them alongside me. So let's go. Alright, that's close enough. Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? I'm just exploring, looking for salvage. I know it might look like it. This isn't some jump down you can strip for parts. We got rules around here. There are places where you can do some trading. We don't tolerate any trouble. You people live here? This place is a dump. Now, let me get one thing straight right now. I will not have anyone insult this town. It's the product of generations of work. It's a testament to our ingenuity. I got half a mind to turn you away after all the things you said to me. Although, while you're rude, you don't seem like you're actually dangerous. So, welcome to Fourville. And before you say anything about the name, don't bother. I didn't come up with it. The mayor likes to meet all new visitors, so the town hall should be your first stop. If you have a crime to report, come find me. If you commit a crime, Next person you'll be talking to is my rifle. I hope we're clear. You got it. The back of his throat looked weird. I don't know if you noticed that, but I couldn't stop staring at it. So, welcome to Fourville. Vault 4. No affiliation with the TV show's Vault 4, so don't get any ideas. This was made way before the TV show. Lots of people here. Lots of little quests to do. Uh, but we should... Hmm. He usually has like a little greeting when you walk by. It's interesting. I've got there some it stuff is. You might want to know. Hello, Big hey. Ears. You're new here, aren't you? The name's Big Ears. I saw you come in. I always like to speak to the new people in town. I can help you get the lay of the land better than anyone else here. How'd you get that name? On account of these big old things on the side of my head. And how I always keep them to the ground. So, are you interested in my help? Sure. I'm listening. Great! So, here's the deal. I know loads of useful information that you might need if you're going to make your way in Fourville. There are all kinds of people here. Some of them you'll want to mix with. Some of them you won't. You pay me a cap, and I'll give you a little piece of useful info. How does that sound? Let's see what you've got. Fantastic. Here's one to get you started. If you're new in town, the first person you're going to want to see is the mayor. The second thing you need to know is that we're in the middle of an election. Mayor Sanders is up for re-election. But I hear Miss McKenzie is going to run him close. So, what did you think? Want any more? I've got plenty where they came from. He does have plenty, but I don't want to sit here for 20 minutes getting them all, so... Not today. Yeah, you're lost. Maybe we'll get more here and there as we stroll on past. Fourville Security is here for you. But let's meet the mayor. Hello, Marge. Excuse me. Hello and welcome to the Fourville Town Hall. On behalf of Mayor Sanders, allow me to welcome you to our beautiful town. Now what the hell do you want? So polite. Need to see the mayor about something. Oh, is that all? Uh, his office is just to your left. Hi. Why, hello there. Roscoe Radio mentioned we had a visitor coming down. I hope he didn't give you too much trouble. He loves to try and vet visitors. He didn't really tell me much about you. Perhaps you'd like to fill me in? Or maybe you have some questions for me. 
What is this place? This is Fallville. It might not look like much, but it's the product of generations of digging and building. Now, I'm sure you've noticed our town's main attraction, Vault 4. I always make sure to let the new visitors know the door can't be open. It hasn't opened since the day the bombs fell over 200 years ago. Our ancestors waited outside the vault, expecting shelter when it opened after 20 years. But it never did. Some people, me included, still hold out hope that the vault will open one day. But listen to me talking your ear off. If you really want to learn more, you can visit the site of the original town in front of the vault door. Or you can visit our museum above the entrance. Feel free to take in what the town has to offer. Enjoy yourselves. My door is always open if you want to have a little chat. There is nothing I would like less than that. Okay, so let's go talk to people at the site in front of the tent. I don't know if they have a leader or not. Hey. Until he opens again, sister. He? Do you think the vault is a person? Hey. Have you stopped by the museum yet? It's got some great stuff. Excuse me. Stop by my if you like to have some firepower. We call her the Bloody Baron. Welcome to the room. Coming up with improvised field rations. That's just I kind of missed what they were talking about. Hi. Welcome to Fallville. I've not seen you around town before. Are you interested in seeing the Fallville tents? Or perhaps purchasing a souvenir? Tell me more about this vault. Do you want the talk? Alright, here goes. <clears throat> more than 200 years ago, the Great War broke out across the world. Thousands of people took shelters in things called vaults, like the one behind me. When the vaults sealed, they were expected to open up after 20 years. There were some who decided that if they could wait that long, they could find shelter when it opened. George Willis was one such man. Together with his family, he arrived in the entrance cave to Vault 4 on the day of the Great War. Behind me, you can see the very tent he pitched for shelter, made from a recovered log and a sheet of plastic. It was a far cry from the shelters which would come later. There's no way that could ever work. Look around you. Our town is the proof that Willis's plan worked. Over time, more refugees began showing up at the vault seeking shelter. As more people came, they needed more living space. The early residents of Fourville began to dig out the walls of the cave and use reclaimed wood and dismantled vault tech equipment to build houses. This process is still ongoing as workers tirelessly dig to create new spaces for houses and maybe find a way inside the vault. Many of us in Fourville still dream that the vault may one day open including members of the Church of the Four, who you can see often uh, worship in this site. And that's the story of the Fourville Tents. If you want to learn more, you can visit the Fourville Museum or the Church of the Four. What do you sell here? We sell samples of dirt from the earth around the tents, certificates of authentication to say you've seen the tents, as well as some pre-war knickknacks. Sure, why not? Make sure to pick up one of the certificates. Wait, do I have to buy them separately? I sure do. Well, I can't wait to buy some dirt. It does have fertilizer. I mean, I do need fertilizer, so fuck it, why not? And as always, I'll buy ammo, and I like adhesive, and lead, and copper, and adhesive, and aluminum. He actually has some decent stuff. That's it. Uh, can I sell you anything? really don't use mines. I think I've said that before. Oh, what's that one? Upon hitting deals 20 points of fire damage during 5 seconds to main target. It ig ignits. It ignits everyone around it. That's pretty cool. I'm starting to think I'm never going to end up using that though. I just like keeping stuff. I think that'll do. Cool.
cool beans. Let's check out that museum. Yeah, I know my way around a little bit. It's okay. Hello. Oh, right. I have to wait for him to do this. On work, you dang machine. What about... No, that isn't right. Oh, I'm never going to get it to work. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see you there. Welcome to the Fourville Museum. How can I help you? Now say it again. Hey. Welcome to the Fourville Museum. I'm sorry about that little display when you got in. I've been having some technical difficulties with a new exhibit. What are you working on? Oh, this? It's a holotape. I bought it from a trader who came by a few weeks ago. He said it had some kind of game on it, but I've not been able to get it to run. It keeps saying I need to download update, but when I press the button, it just says cannot communicate with cloud server. I'm not sure what a lot of those words mean. I've tried everything I can think of. I even took it outside where it could see the clouds, but no luck. It's a real shame because it'd make a great addition to our new pre-war exhibition. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Maybe there is something you can do. I had wondered if it might be possible to download update directly from the company who made the game. My museum duties keep me so busy I wouldn't be able to go myself. The game was made by a company called Real Patriot Games. You might be able to download update from their headquarters. If you're able to do that for me, you'd be doing the museum a really big favor. Sure. Hey there. Any word on the game? No, not yet. I'm interested in the history of this place. Then you've come to the right place. You can look at all the exhibits we have or talk to me if you have any specific questions. Useful. What do you know about vault Tech? vault Tech was a pre-war company which built massive underground vaults for people to survive the nuclear war. From the promotional material I've read, they were equipped with all the modern amenities. They look like lovely places to live. Who built this place originally? Has it been here long? Orville was founded when a man named George Willis decided to set up camp outside Vault 4 and wait for it to open. That was over 200 years ago, and since then, the town has changed a lot. It's the work of every generation which came before us. At the Fortville Museum, we're proud to have a special display of George Willis's personal artifacts. Our prized possession is his terminal, but that's off limits. Tell me more about this vault. Very little is known about the vault itself. Its doors have never opened. Generations of Fourville residents have tried to find a way in, but to no success. Some of the only examples of Vault 4 jumpsuits are in the display across from the door, as well as some Vault 4 bobbleheads. They say Vault Tech produced a full set, but I've never come across any. I don't have any more questions. Anything else I can help you with? Nope. I'm just gonna take a look around. You're welcome to take a look around any of the exhibits or ask me if you have any questions. The museum is open 24 hours a day. When do you sleep? Let's look at some exhibits. Wow. George Willis was the founder and first mayor of Fourville. It was Willis who, when he first arrived at Vault 4, decided to set up a tent and wait for it to open. His bold idea attracted many more Boston residents whose descendants, under Willis's brave leadership, went on to create the Fourville we know today. Although no photos of Willis survive, this mannequin represents what he might have looked like. Wow. I don't think I can activate this book. Unfortunate. Wow. Wow. Ooh, another one. The display to your right is a selection of genuine Vault 4 items. In the display case is the only known Vault 4 jumpsuit in existence, which is spelled wrong, alongside the box it was discovered in. Beside the box are two Vault 4 bobbleheads. It is said that Vault Tech produced an entire set of these bobbleheads alongside their Vault 101 and Vault 111 collection, but to this day, only these proof-of-concept versions have been found. So that's obviously hinting at the fact that there is a full set of Vault 4 bobbleheads out there you can find, very similar to the vanilla bobbleheads. And his terminal, which is off limits. 
Stuff we can steal. Another plaque for this little thing. The town hall is one of the most significant structures in Fourville. Its construction represents the moment when Fourville was transformed from a temporary settlement into a genuine town. This exact replica of the town hall was gifted to the museum by Michelle Hunt, former mayor of Fourville. This shovel is believed to have been used by some of the first residents of Fourville to begin the process of digging the caves. Wow. Wowee. Well, I guess that's it for this place. So one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is I need to make a typo patch for this mod, because there is a lot. <clears throat> I hope the vault opens in my lifetime. It seems unlikely. Where is everybody? What time is it? Oh, no wonder. It's after midnight. Hi, I'm with McKinsey all the way. I like your hats. Hey there. I don't have time to chat. Okay. So unfortunately, I think everybody's in bed, so we'll just have to uh, come back some other time. But, now you know where Fourville is, how to start it, what it looks like a bit. Oh, we can check at the bar. We haven't been in the bar. So if you watched my video about modded followers, this place might look familiar. If not, I will leave a card in the top corner right now. You can pause and go watch that if you like, but let's meet Logan. Hey there. Hey there, newbie. I don't mean any offense, but I'm not really looking to make a new friend. Keep your friendship. I'm out here for myself. <laughs> That's the kind of thinking I can get behind. Have a beer on me. Listen, now that I've got you liquored up, perhaps you could help me out. I'm looking for work. Know anywhere I can get some? If you really want out of here, you can come work for me on a settlement. <laughs> Work for you on a settlement? No. No, I think you've got the wrong idea of the kind of work I do. I do bodyguard work, bounty hunting, clearing out raiders, and things like that. If times get really tough, then I'll root through desks and filing cabinets for spare caps. It's amazing where pre-war folk used to leave those things. I bet you hear all kinds of gossip. Of course I hear things. But I wouldn't last long in this business if I spilled secrets to strangers in bars. I might be interested in that. So you're interested in hiring me, are you? The fee is 200 caps, up front. I have two decades experience under my belt, so I don't negotiate. Here's your money. Looks like you've just bought yourself a guard. First of all, we should go over some ground rules. In case I hadn't made it clear already, we're not friends. I'm your guard. You're my boss. That's all. Secondly, I'm not a murderer. I'll defend you if you're attacked, but I won't take part in random killings. If that's all clear, let's get moving. You're the boss. So you may notice I did not have to dismiss Dance, because Logan, much like Heather, does not count as a... Uh... Well, he is a follower, but he doesn't take up one of the vanilla follower slots. So he can actually be here with Heather and a vanilla follower all at the same time. Which is a bit much, but it is what it is. Oh, hey there. I'm Rusty, the bar, um, guy? Can I, uh, get you a drink or something? The bar, um, guy. Is everything alright? You seem upset. Everything's fine. Honest. Something's bothering you. I can tell. All right. I'll tell you. It's just... It's just that everyone around here bullies me. They call me mean names like... Like... Wolverine? the bullet hole. I hate it so much. Just because I'm young, they think they can push me around. So stop crying about it and stand up for yourself. It's not that easy, okay? They're bigger than me. And they're really mean. Surely we can work something out. I don't know. You could always try. Nelson is the ringleader, but every time I talk to him, it just makes it worse. Okay. Nelson's this fellow up in the corner. Hey there. I saw you talking to a little rusty bullet hole over there. Pathetic wimp, ain't he? Don't you just love seeing him tear up? Maybe you should just leave him be. You know what? You got Vim talking to me like that. 
Sure, I'll leave the kid alone. Well, that was easy. Too easy. Excuse me. I heard what you said to Nelson. Thanks for sorting that out for me. Have a drink on me. You have any other work? Nope. I'm all set here. Thanks for asking. Well, that was the easiest quest ever. Not looking to buy right now. That's a shame. Maybe another time? Uh, probably not. We'll probably never see each other again. Oh, hello. Alright, so we did get that quest to go to Real Patriot Games. But first, I want to go meet Aiden, which is not too far from Diamond City. So we can go do that. But I mainly want to go see Aiden before I do Brotherhood stuff. Not because there's any any relation, but um, I think in the last episode I was going to go talk to Jake about Aiden stuff, and I talked to Jake, and then I just never followed up on it. So I feel like I kind of I'm kind of obligated to go there next, just because I said I would. Oh, hey. Undiscovered icon on our compass up there. We'll check that out real quick. And then, uh, I'm gonna probably head back that way to the sewer. Drop off a few things. And that'll be our immersive fast travel to get to where we're going. Is this. Is this Coastal Cottage? I think it is. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. This is going surprisingly well. If you could travel through time, I don't know that radar, right? Oh, hey. Fireman helmet. Kind of want it. Alright, so this is just another settlement. So we'll just claim it real quick. That'll clear the weather too. If you were not aware, entering settlement mode clears the weather. You can toggle that in the Workshop Plus MCM if you don't like it. But I like it. It's easier to build when it's clear out. I'm just gonna check out this site down here. Make it for their sewer. Where? Oh, I see ya. Did you hear that? Another fight? Another win. Shooting circles around that guy. I think this might be where I saw that Raider Mech earlier. Probably shouldn't be getting involved in this. Let's see, power armor. He might have a fat man, I can't tell. Now he turned around. He's got something big. And there's that fellow. Not anymore. Hmm. The hell? Uh, he's shooting missiles at me, even though he can't really see me. False alarm. We may have a problem here. Alright, I think he's out. I think I broke his arm. Oh, there's that mech. Hmm. 
Where'd the juggernaut go? Yeah. Really? How can I not hit this thing? There we go. I could just barely see him. Yeah. Another power armor? I think I broke his helmet. Oh, why'd you move? Gotcha. Hopefully that's the major threats down. These rocks have really weird collision on them. I think I've finally been spotted. Why am I on fire? There's another mech. I thought I saw Raider. Yeah, Raider mech. Oh, he's down there. Well, he's not moving. I wonder if he's stuck on something. Where'd he go? Oh, he must have went deeper into the cave there. We'll just have to hunt his ass down, won't we? Last chance. Run or die. Yeah, there's chasing him down. Nice work, Heather. You're a real one. That is correct. So if you played Magnum Opus version 6 point whatever, you might remember some of this area was a little busted. Uh, like a lot of these platforms and stuff were invisible. I remember that staircase were invisible. But that was because we had that point lookout mod which edited stuff here. 
and uh, it broke some of the previous kind of things. That is no longer the case. We don't have point lookout anymore, and I will tell you why as soon as I clear these guys out. There we go. So point lookout, I think, was a real achievement, and it had a lot of really impressive things in it. Um, the problem is it also had AI voice acting, and I hadn't really thought about it at the time, because like a lot of people, I just thought AI voice was a really cool new thing. It was a, a really impressive feat of technology, I suppose is the best way to put it. And it didn't really dawn on me that it actually hurts voice actors. And especially people like Courtney Taylor that voices Nora, who we are currently playing as in this game. They've been pretty outspoken about how AI voice is dangerous to their work and, you know, it takes their jobs away from them and they don't consent to having their voices used in that way. So, you know, that kind of made me change my mind about how AI voice should be used. Which is why Point Luckout is no longer here, and I actively avoid anything with AI voice now, so... That's why there's no more point lookout. Heads up. I've heard a lot of weird stories about Aquarium here. In case anybody was ever curious. I have had a few people ask why point lookout isn't here anymore, so that's why. Anyway, let's read a terminal. The Station 1 terminal. Communications. Urgent message. Message from management to Bob Stanson, Station 1. Bob, you're needed immediately down at Station 4. We'll explain when you get here. Management. To management. Request for new support beams repeatedly denied. Thank you for extra padding at Station 1 Terminal. Station 1 output highest it's been all year. You're doing great work everyone. Bob Stanson, Project Manager, Station 1. Station 1 update. We continue to produce good cuts from this section. Ventilation excellent, morale good. Incident free for 93 days. Safety first. Wear eye protection. Please remind everyone to wear eye protection. We recorded our fourth incident in the month where someone lost an eye due to flying rock from machinery. It's simple, wear eye protection. If we need to bring in the last eyeball we recovered as an example, we'll do it. Management. Falling debris. Remember that we are working in a quarry and that conditions can be dangerous. We've set up beams where we think provide the best support with the least amount of material. It's a cost-cutting solution that has saved us a lot of money over the years. That being said, if you or anyone you know reports rumblings or sees something that looks unstable, give it some time and see if it passes. If not, contact your administrator and we'll set up a time to get the situation looked at. Railings Much like our support beams, railings cost money. We've placed them where we deemed appropriate. However, we've had several incidents involving workers falling to their deaths, especially near Station 2. Please take the time to remind workers to be conscious of their surroundings and not lean on the railings. Some of them have rusted out and may no longer be stable. Every six months we inspect the railings, so if you find one that's no longer sturdy, it's probably on the backlog and will be taken care of shortly. No need to log another complaint. Upcoming events. Happy hour. And it's that time again. Please join us at The Pit, Station 3, for another happy hour. Drinks will be provided and, as always, the bill will be split for all and taken out of next week's paycheck, so no need to bring cash. Please drink responsibly. We don't want a repeat of last happy hour's incident involving Jerry falling to his death. Annual Picnic Annual Picnic this year will be held near the entrance to the quarry, rain or shine. Feel free to bring a dish of any kind. Nuka-Cola will be provided. If you're bringing children, please keep an eye on them, especially if they are playing near the quarry ledge. To prevent a repeat of last year's incident, we are excited to announce that we've struck a deal with Robco, and they will be providing an extra sentry bot to keep everyone in order. So, whoever runs this quarry is obviously really into cutting costs and even charging employees for their own happy hours and annual picnics. But there was also that urgent message to get Bob down to station four, and that will come into play in a couple of minutes. But it's obvious this company does not give a damn about its employees might not even be running a legitimate quarry.
right, I think Station 2 Terminal will have most of the same stuff, but let's check. Communications, urgent message. Yeah, okay, so this is the same message, but to John, summoning him to Station 4. But, new boring machine. Thank you for the upgrade to our new boring machine for Station 2. Output increased 5% in the past week. And Station 2 update. Steady good quality cuts over the past couple of months. Traffic from Station 3 continues to slow down our output. I suspect traffic will cease to be a problem when Station 3 and Station 4 receive their materials. And the rest is all the same stuff. So it looks like they're gathering all the station managers down at Station 4. Convenient weapon bench. Let's break some stuff down. It'll also significantly reduce our carry weight, so that's nice. I see ya. Excellent shooting. Mm, truly, truly excellent shooting. Alright, station three. Communications, urgent message, same thing, just to Brad, getting someone to Station 4. So he'll be there with the other managers. Railings request. Hey guys, wanted to check in about those new railings I requested a while back. We almost had another guy fall the other day. Thanks guys, Brad. John at Station 2 continues to complain to our crew for slowing down their production. No matter what I say, he tells me to bring it up with you guys. Can you please talk some sense into him? He knows we need equipment. So as we get deeper, we're realizing that the company cares less and less about the company. Well, I should say the quarry and its employees. But we don't know why yet. Ooh. Well, that sound is messed up. Whatever gun he has. Interesting. I want to see what he has. I wonder if it's the PKM. I've had a few people complain about the PKM. Yeah. So... What I really want to check is, is it shooting shotgun shells? I just want to make sure I don't have any other PKMs so I don't get confused. I don't. So, PKM. Weapons. Yeah. So the one that shoots the shotgun shells seems to cause that audio glitch. So I'm probably going to end up removing this variant of it. Hello. Take 5% less damage from robots. That will be very useful, because robots are very deadly. Might as well. Normally I don't loot that kind of armor stuff, but... Oh, sorry, I accidentally clicked. But there's this armor bench right here, so we can break it down. Might as well get some free materials. There we go. It's a great story, Heather. What was that? 
feel like I'm not a uh, not a very good shot today. I saw you over there. Well, I think I got somebody's legs off. Once you take out their legs, they can't move, which is quite nice. I think they can still bite you, though. I think. I thought I heard a goal, but I think it's just them kicking rocks around. Alright, station 4 terminal. Whoop, hang on. Sneak bobblehead. You are permanently 10% harder to detect. Huzzah. Alright. Let's, uh, I'm gonna eject this so we can play it on the go. Roll tape. Dunwich Tim Shoots. So Tim, Tim Shoots, the project manager at Station 4, knows that this is not an actual marble quarry, it's for some other reason, and he's worried the other employees are going to find out what that reason is. So this place will actually tie into another location, which will give us more backstory on it, and we will discuss that, I guess, when we get there, assuming I remember to. Hello, hello. Let's see if we can get a better look. Looks like these are all being held against their will. Oh, hello, Bradley. Hello, Bob Stanson. Tim Shoots. How you guys doing? John Hatfield. Well, there's all the station managers that got summoned down here by management. I thought I saw that he had a note on him. Am I going crazy? It's entirely possible I'm going crazy. There it is. Done which management. Tim, good job on keeping things under wraps. We've taken your advice and have asked the other project managers to meet you at Station 4. Stall them if they arrive before we get there. They haven't been told anything. Very close to accomplishing our goal. Please be patient. You will be rewarded in time. Interesting. So if we dive down, we find some fancy mini nukes, and I have no idea how to pronounce this, but Krem's tooth. Targets bleeding or poisoned. Exceptional damage. Probably the best melee weapon in the game. Uh, unmodded game, because that's a vanilla weapon. And it looks cool. But obviously they're doing some sort of ritualistic sacrifice kind of deal. Worshipping some unknown elder gods of some sort. Tim was in on it, and management 
obviously built this place just to get access to here. It wasn't really a, a marble quarry, but... Gotta keep up appearances. So they lowered all the station managers down and now they're ghouls trapped here forever. Until some douchebag from a vault came down and shot them all in the face. It's the way it goes sometimes. Hey. Apparently that one never triggered. No. I have so much garbage. Thank you. I agree. I thought I saw a container menu pop up there. Alright, we made it. And that is Dunwich Borders. And I really should get back to, uh... Well, we can knock this out real quick. We have a couple things to report into Captain Kells here. Kells? Anything to report? I've completed my investigation into the missing recon team. Paladin Brandis was the only survivor. Brandis? What happened to him? He's alive and well, but he wants to be left alone. He's given up. I expected better from him. What a waste. Very well. Is there anything else? How will the Brotherhood remember them? They faced their mission with courage. They fought with honor against overwhelming odds. They lived and died together as brothers. That is what it means to be a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. I feel like that didn't really answer the question. Do you want their holotapes? Thank you. 
I'll see that they make it to their next of kin. That's all. I'll prepare a full report for the Elder. In the meantime, allow me to offer you a new suit of armor. Bear it with distinction. Thank you. This was no easy mission, Knight. Well done. Now, I have a more pressing matter that requires your attention. I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. I suspect this may be an inside job. An inside job? Do you have any suspects? This is treason we're talking about. In a case like this, you are either sure or you are not. Until then, everyone is a suspect. I want you to take charge of this investigation. Report to Knight Sergeant Gavel at the base. He commands our logistics division. He can familiarize you with his unit and the depot. Beyond that, you have leave to conduct your investigation as you see fit. Report your findings directly to me. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I expect results. See that I get them. Dismissed. Captain Kells? Continue your investigation. Okay. Why are you bold? Alrighty. Let's do this. Alright, let's talk to Gavel. What's up, dude? Let me guess. Captain Kell sent you? That's right. Let's take this somewhere more private. Follow me. We've converted this section of the terminal into our primary supply depot. Everything the Brotherhood needs to operate passes through here. Supplies from the Pridwin, salvage from the field, we handle it all. Access is strictly limited to the logistics detail, and we track every crate, every bullet, every bolt that comes through that door. Which is why I don't take kindly to these accusations. I know every soldier in this unit. The thought that anyone would question their loyalty makes me sick. If you've got questions, ask. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Watch your tone, Sergeant. Sir. Yeah, tell him, dance. Tell me about the logistics division. I've been in charge of this unit for almost 10 years now. We're a small group. We stick together. And we keep the Brotherhood running. Tell me about the missing supplies. We're down over 20 crates, if you believe the scribe. All food, dried meat, Instamash, mac and cheese. It doesn't make sense. I could see someone stealing weapons or tech, but our thief goes to all this trouble for a lifetime supply of cram. Hey, maybe cram is delicious, you don't know. Where should I begin my investigation? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. I've already spoken with my men. They haven't seen anything. Tegan's scribes just fouled up the books again. If you insist on questioning someone, go bother Lucia or Clark. I can spare them. Lucia and Clark? Knight Lucia and Initiate Clark. They were just posted to this detail a few weeks ago. They're still learning their way around, but I'll have them in shape soon enough. If you have to badger someone with your questions, it might as well be them. That's all for now, Sergeant. Take my advice. Poke around a little, then tell the captain to let it go. It's not worth your time or mine. Well, he doesn't seem happy I'm here. So, I got the two newest recruits to talk to. There are a few ways to do this quest. Um, I want to talk to Clark first, actually. Wherever he is. Oh, he's over there. So, if we, um, if we talk to Lucia first... We can advance the quest just by talking to her and ignore Clark, but as I keep saying, I want to experience everything. Still that so we'll talk to Clark first, so that we can hear what he has to say. Hey Clark. You hear about the thefts, right? Look, I already told Sergeant Gavel everything I know. You already spoke with Gavel? He questioned the entire unit. None of us saw anything. Look. I want to get to the bottom of this as much as anyone. What do you want to know? What's the security situation here like? We're in the middle of a hardened military base, under constant guard. Nothing's getting in or out of here without us knowing about it. 
You really think the base is that secure? I do. And even if something did make it into the supply depot, there are knights on duty in here at all times. We'd see something. Tell me about the logistics unit. There are what, ten of us now? Something like that. Our division reports to Proctor Teagan, up on the Pridlin. Sergeant Gavel handles day-to-day -day operations. He's run logistics for years. Other than the sergeant, there's Lucia, me, the scribes, and a few other knights who aren't fit for field work. Lucia? Excuse me. Knight Lucia. We joined the Brotherhood together. She'll probably get assigned to a patrol team soon. Me? I'll still be stuck here. Tell me about the missing supplies. I really don't know anything. I've heard the rumors, same as everyone else. But that's all. What rumors have you heard? Well, they say raiders with stealth boys hit the terminal every night. That supplies disappear faster than we can bring them in. It's a lot of garbage. I usually work the night shift. Believe me, the only thing you risk dying of is boredom. That's all, Initiate. Sir? Sir, I'm a lady. Need all my garbage. Alright, let's talk to Lucia. Give me that stuff, you don't need it. Lucia, copper wire. Could you tell me where oh, I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. Knight Lucia, logistics. What can I do for you, Knight? Do you have time for some questions? Oh. You must be here about the missing supplies. I'm not sure I can be of much help, but um what do you want to know? What's it like working in logistics? It's not a bad post. Sergeant Gavel is tough, but I've learned a lot from working here. I guess some people take to it and some don't. Like Clark. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time, about two years ago. We've always been friends. Well, until recently. Why? What happened? I don't know. I'm Damn it. He's just been distant lately. I'm sorry. It's probably nothing. What's the security like around here? It's tight. At least two knights and a scribe on duty at all times. And we've got the entire base right here. We don't have much to worry about. Is there any way to get past all that security? Hmm. Well, you'd have to be in logistics. We're the only ones authorized to bring supplies in or out. Then what? Well, there's no way you get a full crate of supplies off base. With all the patrols, someone would notice. Why steal anything in the first place? The Brotherhood provides everything we need. No one here has any connection to the Commonwealth. I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Do you know anything about the missing supplies? Not really. I've heard it's mostly food and, um, vacuum tubes? No, sorry, I just lost those. You lost some vacuum tubes. How often are supplies lost around here? Someone had just filed them in the wrong place, apparently. Clark found them the next day. The little things do happen, but it never amounts to much. The sergeant may complain, but Proctor Teagan and his scribes are very thorough. One or two crates, maybe, but not this many. That's all for now. Let me know if you need anything else. Now, where was I? You were looking for copper wire. Um, so, unfortunately, we missed that speech check, and that would be one way to progress the quest. Another is to read this terminal. Gavel. No luck? I told you it was a waste of time. Listen, I questioned every soldier in this unit. I didn't find anything. You're not going to find anything. If you insist on going through with this, stop bothering my men and go look for some real evidence. Hell, you got the captain's backing. You could search every damn berth on the crib, and no one would raise a finger to stop you. Now, is there anything else you need from me? That's all. Hmm. Alright, so, like he said, we could search every berth on the Pridwin. And that's kind of a hint as to another way to complete the quest, which is up on the Pridwin. Any Brotherhood soldiers that have 
There we go. Right, Lucia's footlocker and initiate Clark's footlocker. Let's start with Clark's, and he's got Lucia's personal key and a note from Lucia. Let's see. Have you been in my locker? Clark, what's going on? After all we've been through, I can't believe you'd do something like this. Look, this is too much, even from you. Touch my things again, and I'm reporting you to the captain. So he's being a little stalkery, it seems. What's she got? She's got a holotape, Night Lucia's log. Let's give that a listen. Oh, did it file under settings? That happens sometimes. No, it didn't. Where the hell is it? Uh, let me just search. There we go. Alright. Year 2, Day 17. Today was my last day as an initiate. Tomorrow morning, I report to the Elder for my commissioning. I'm finally going to be a knight. The Brotherhood is everything I hoped for. Family, honor, security. I've met people with vision and courage, like Elder Maxim. I've made friends like Clark. I've proved myself in battle. I can't imagine going back to civilian life now. My only regret is that Clark won't be going through the ceremony with me. We do everything together, but he's been avoiding me lately. I wanted to talk tonight like we used to, but he just went to bed. Said he wasn't feeling well. Day 18? Today I stood before the Elder. He spoke of my life before the Brotherhood, my time as an initiate, and my future as a knight. It only took a few minutes, but it felt like the most important conversation of my life. A few of my friends were waiting outside to congratulate me. Even Proctor Ingram came, but not Clark. I heard later that he hadn't reported for his duty shift on the bridge. No one seemed to know where he was. It was almost midnight before he got back, and he went to bed without saying a word. Day 23 Clark and I have been posted to logistics at the base. Working supply may not be as exciting as patrol duty, but it needs to be done. Clark seems to resent it when he talks to me at all. I'm worried about him. I always looked up to Clark, but he seems like a different person lately, like he's just given up. At first I thought he was just jealous, but there's something else going on, something he isn't telling me. If I can get him to open up, maybe we can still work things out. And day 34. This is getting out of hand. Clark has been late to his shifts three times this week. Each time I found him, I made sure he didn't forget again, but I can't keep covering for him like this. I think Sergeant Gavel was starting to suspect something is wrong. When I got back last night, my footlocker was a mess. I think Clark has been going through my things. What's the matter with him? Why won't he talk to me? And back down we go. So Clark is quickly becoming our prime suspect here in our missing supply investigation. But what oh what is he up to? Alright, let's go talk to Lucia about her journal. So? Any news on that patrol? I had forgotten about you. They're dead, Paladin. I recovered their tags. Damn. I still can't believe it, but looking at your face, I can't say you're lying either. How did it happen? Too much radiation. I'm sorry, but there were no survivors. I should have figured it was something like that. I know Night Cassia, and she would have put two in the head before letting herself go feral. Let her death be an example to all of us. In any case, I'll make sure those tags get to where they need to be. Good work, soldier. Thank you, Paladin. I'm sorry for your loss. Mm, Lucia! Lucia, I'm gonna get used to this finally, sister. Did you need something? You've been covering for Clark. Why? What? What are you talking about? I read your journal, Lucia. I want to know what's going on here. You what? I... I... <sighs> All right. Clark and I joined the Brotherhood around the same time. He's been my closest friend for years, but since the battle, I feel like I'm losing him. The battle? Battle for the airport. It was our first real combat mission. It was something to see. The Pridwin coming in under full vertebrate escort guns blazing. We were one of the first teams to hit the ground. 
dozens of ferals. We opened fire and cut them down. And hunted the ones that tried to run. It was everything I had hoped for. But Clark... He hasn't been the same since. It's like he's just given up. Since then, I've noticed him slipping off by himself. Once or twice a day. I never thought much of it, but... Do you think you could follow him? See what he's doing? His shift should be over in a few minutes. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'm worried about him. You got it. See where it takes us. Okay. All right. That's it for today. I'll be right behind you. So this part of the quest sucks. <laughs> um, if you get spotted whenever he goes outside, he will stop what he's doing and wait for ages, and then you have to wait like another day to try this again. So I'll give it one try. <laughs> I'm just gonna quick save here so I can have some more to load. And if I fail this, I'm just gonna reload the save and just maybe try waiting an hour and that should just kick him where he needs to go. But especially with three followers and dance and power armor, it's so easy to get spotted. It's such a hassle. I really don't like this part. So we're basically just following that floating quest marker over there. If I was alone, maybe it would do it, but I mean, I'm not, so I'm not ditching everybody for this. Look, I'm off. There's nobody here, Clark. Get moving. Alright, I was sitting here for ages and he just wasn't moving. So I waited a couple hours and he still wasn't moving. And I guess he just finally kicked me into action now, so we'll get to follow him. I think I stepped in something. Oh, I finally went in. I hate that part of the quest so much. Alright, well, we hit level 32. I have three perk points. I should probably spend them. Um, I do like science a lot. I really want level 3 of that, but I can't to level 40. Uh, might as well. I do like Demo Expert. Because I do like grenades. And I do like the throwing arc as well, but I think I'll wait on that. I'll go with this, because I really like Classic Criticals. I think it's one of the best parts here, and I haven't taken it yet, so...
Hello, Night Raylan. I feel like this is as good a time as any. Uh, I'll keep that one. I know that the defense is way less, but now I'm now I'm a Brotherhood member. Feels more fitting. And like I said earlier, I'm kind of sick of looking at that Institute armor. Well, that's a lot of ghouls. And I am a terrible shot. Thank God I have a lot of friends that actually know how to shoot. Because I sure as hell don't. I just cannot shoot today. Point proven. Ooh, a safe. You and me both, Heather. Dude, seriously, I am really bad today. Maybe we should stick with the pistol. I was doing alright with that earlier. That shotgun ain't doing me any favors. Ooh, I love light bulbs. They all have copper. Don't mind me, I'm just loot goblining. Hey, no.
Niet die daar wel. So many of them. Information desk terminal. Uh, I don't think there's anything interesting here. Yeah, this is just adding um, locations to my Pip Boy map for different places, but it's just like a little shopping terminal. You can't actually shop there. I mean, like from pre war, telling you where different stores were. Ooh, trench coat. Sounds interesting. Investigating the missing supplies. It looks like I found them. Damn it! I thought I was being careful. Someone was bound to catch me eventually. I can't keep this up forever. Keep what up? Stealing food. I'm in logistics. No one even questioned me when I took them out of the terminal. I've been bringing them down here at night to feed the ghouls. It's been working. What do you mean, it's been working? Why are you doing this? It's a long story. I had a friend who was a ghoul once. As human as you or me. But the Brotherhood... The Brotherhood says ghouls are abominations. They all deserve to die. Would you kill him too? Just because of who he is? Was he a feral? What difference does it make? Weren't they all human once? I joined the Brotherhood two years in all that time, I never doubted our beliefs. Never questioned them. But during the battle for the airport, the ghouls, they just kept coming. I, I killed, I don't even know how many. They started running away, but we, we kept going. I killed them. I killed them all. They were ghouls. Yes. But damn it, they were people first! After the battle, I, I needed some time to think. I found this place, and the ghouls. What could I do? Report it, and they'd all be killed. Ignore them, and they'd attack the base. I thought, if I brought them food, maybe they'd just stay down here. There wouldn't have to be any more killing. 
Do you... Do you think I did the right thing? Hmm. I mean, they were people, but they're kind of not anymore. Do you? I, I don't know anymore. What are you going to do with them? What do you think we should do? Just... Just let them be. So long as they stay here, they aren't hurting anyone. They're a threat to the base. They have to be destroyed. No! No, I won't just stand by and let you kill them. Not again. I found this in the ruins. It's... It's Knight Ryland's holotag. He worked in the terminal with me. They killed him, didn't they? And as long as they're here, more knights are gonna die. I, I can't be responsible for that. And, and what about me? So this is a really interesting choice. So if I convince him to turn himself in, he'll be in the in the brig, in the Bridwin. If I don't tell anyone, he gets promoted to Paladin later. If I say, you've betrayed the Brotherhood, then I have to kill him. And if I say I have to report this, he'll run away and won't ever see him again. So every single option here changes the outcome of this quest, and I think that's really interesting. So I'm kind of erring on the side of this one. Because he was trying to do the right thing, and I think he would make a good paladin, since he shows compassion. So we'll try that. I won't tell anyone. Just make sure I don't regret it. You won't. I'll find some other way to feed them. No one else will ever know. I... I need a few minutes to get my thoughts together. Go on ahead. The elevator's in the next room. You can use my keycard. I'll be up soon. Thanks. Interestingly, Paladin Dance must have been a little too far away to initiate this uh, this dialogue here because if Paladin Dance is like over here when you confront him, Clark will just shout that, oh no, there's a Paladin here and just immediately go hostile and that's the whole thing and you cannot peacefully finish the quest. So I'm not sure if I'm happy or sad that that didn't work out. We can also hack this terminal and it'll turn on Protectrons to kill all these ghouls that are wandering around down there. Uh, that door's locked, I can't get in. But you can stop shooting, Heather. But uh, we'll just leave. I think we've done all we need to do here. I don't remember where the elevator is. I think it's behind me. But I am curious if there's loot down there. I don't know if he would go hostile if I went killed them. But we can always come back later. Ah, oh, jeez. And any freeze put me over. Dance. Ah, oh, you're in combat. Bring it. Logan? Just don't take all my stuff, okay? I want you to take my stuff. There's the elevator. Alright, let's go. Lower level. I think the Brotherhood could use some more compassionate people. Uh, that's the way I went down. That's the exit, obviously. Alright, I think that's a good place to make the cut. I know I said I was going to go talk to Aiden, and I didn't, and that makes me a liar. And I apologize for that. But, um, I will get there first thing next episode, I swear, I promise. We will do SS2 stuff. But until then, thank you all for watching. Thank you so much to all my Patreon donors. I appreciate you more than you can imagine. And I will see you all next time. Happy modding. Have a good day. Sergeant. If you're done here, clear out. You've wasted enough of my time. Folks say their brains are rotted away. Carry food with you or you might not be. Knight, if you need something, report to Sergeant Gavel.